here's that breaking news out of Victor, where crews are on the scene of a fire at the apple farm. Folks, a uh, place uh, a lot of folks know. We're going to get a live update from the scene in just a moment. Thanks. Back to that breaking news from Victor, where crews are on scene of a fire at the apple farm. Doug has arrived there on uh, State Route 444 with what we know so far. Doug, lots going on behind you. Well, the, 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 the store itself here at the Apple Farm, which is a landmark in Victor and, and in the region, uh, it is a loss. I mean, it, it is gone. Uh, I'm here with uh, the man who started this place 40 years ago, Munir Buhai. Munir, you, you, you tell me the story that your wife woke up. You live right here, right next yeah, door. Yeah. Tell me what happened this morning. What time was it? All of a sudden, she's yelling, the store is on fire. And I come down with my whatever I had on. And... Uh, and There's it was in, it was in flames. Call. There was nothing you could do at that point. Oh no, no, we called 911 right away. Ted, you started this place 40 years ago. You planted these trees. Actually, every single tree was put in. My brother dug the hole, and I packed it, put it in, and packed the dirt. Around. 144 acres of apple no, trees. No, no, no. no. But you about, have 144 acres on the farm. Yeah. We had about 80 acres of apples. Well, I mean, you see something like this. You've been through 40 years at this place. You see something like this. It's got to be devastating. I know. Um, but you'll... That's life. You'll, what's the plan? I mean, I know it's early, but you'll be in business? I don't know. I'm retired, supposedly. I'm 76 years old. And, you're, <laughs> and your son has taken over the business. Yeah. That's correct. Okay. And what was inside that building that burned? It just goods supplies everything else we sell everything honey maple syrup cider so your product else. and then you said you had some coolers in there yeah that, yeah everything uh, we sell milk eggs everything it's like a store now. Yeah. any idea how this could have started no way no way no. yeah it started in that corner in the west side there cooler on the west side in that area sir i'm so sorry for the loss nobody hurt though correct I'm glad, yeah. 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 That's the good thing. Munir, thank you. Our best to you. Thanks for talking to us this You're morning. Welcome. Thank welcome. you. Thank you, Doug. Munir Baha'i is the, the man who, who helped start this place, this landmark, 40 years ago. So the fire broke out middle of the night. It's in the store, the place you may know if you travel down here to, to get apples in the fall and talk about the height of the season. Thanksgiving is a very uh, a big time for the folks here at the Apple Farm in Victor. Uh, they sell a lot of apples for apple pies, uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of honey, a lot of the other stuff that Mr. Baha'i talked about uh, being inside that store. So uh, you're looking at uh, what we saw when we got here, uh, and the store is a loss, uh, no doubt about it. There are some outbuildings here that are not affected by this fire. We're gonna try to get to the fire chief next and find out what they know. I will tell you this about the flight of this fire. I passed another fire truck scene down in Bloomfield on my way to this scene and I thought it was another fire. It turns out it's a tanker relay. They are getting water from down there, bringing it up, putting it in the, the, the those portable reservoirs they use to get some more water on this fire. Guys, that's what we know so far and uh, we'll be live in Victor all morning long on 13 Wham in Fox Rochester. Breaking news out of Victor where crews are on scene of a fire at the Apple Farm. Doug Emblage is live on State Route 444 with what the owner is saying this morning. Doug? Well, he was awakened. They live right next door, and, and he was awakened by his wife screaming, fire in the store, fire in the store. And he came outside and says by the time he got here, there was too much smoke. He couldn't even get close to this building. Munir Baha'i started the apple farm some 40 years ago. His son is now the owner. His son also on scene. And uh, they are just seeing the devastation in front of them. This store uh, was going to be very busy for the next few weeks as they lead up to Thanksgiving. Sell a lot of apples, a lot of cider, a lot of apple pies. And right now they're just wondering uh, what's next. No one heard out here today. No word on how it started. Uh, but there is one thing for certain. This man who started this place after emigrating from Israel many years ago is devastated. Ted, you started this place 40 years ago. You planted these trees. Actually, every single tree was put in. My brother dug the hole and I packed it. Put it in and packed the dirt around. 144 acres of apple no, trees. No, no, no. Uh, but you have about, 144 acres on the farm. Yeah. We had about 80 acres of apples.
it is the story of, of so many small business people who live their work. Uh, in fact, as I mentioned, they live next door to uh, to the apple farm that uh, has really become a landmark in the Finger Lakes. It's a it's a stop for many people on a fall trip, perhaps down to the wineries or just to see the leaves. I'm going to step out of the frame here for a second, and, and you can see what firefighters are dealing with now. The metal roof uh, that was put on a few years ago uh, has been uh, something they've had to deal with to get at the flames, and they've been bringing water uh, from a couple miles down the road, filling up tankers and just a caravan, a brigade of tankers coming in to uh, bring water to put on this fire at the Apple Farm in Victor. We'll be here all morning. Try to find out uh, if investigators have any idea how this fire here started. Thanks, Mike. Let's get out to Victor now. Scene of breaking news of the fire at the Apple Farm continues to smolder at this hour. Doug is live on State Route 444 with what we know about all of this, Doug. Uh, Jen, um, we have some good news to report. One of the concerns of the Baha'i family, the folks who own this, uh, Apple Farm and Victor, the store destroyed by fire overnight, uh, one of their concerns was the animals that were adjacent to the store. Look what uh, just came out of the fire scene. These uh, little goats, I think, I don't have my glasses on. There's a pot belly pig as well walking across the fire hoses. And I was just talking to uh, one of the family members and they said, we're really concerned about the animals. And they went around the side of the building and look at that, at least these four are happy and healthy and playing around. Uh, and they are greeting one of the firefighters. So kind of a, a strange scene, but, but very good news. As we take a look at some of the video from earlier, we'll tell you the story of what we know. It was after two o'clock this morning uh, that uh, Karen Baha'i uh, was up and looked outside and said she could see some orange at the far end of the store. They live right next door. And, and she screamed fire. Her husband, Munir, who started this place 40 years ago, ran outside while she called 911. But by then, it was too late to, uh, to try to put the fire out. Now investigators are trying to figure out how it started. Is it possible there was a, a burglary and that that could be related to this fire? Uh, or was it something that was inside the building, an electrical problem? They'll look at all that now in the coming hours. Firefighters still working to, uh, to uh, completely get this uh, under control. You can see the smoke rising through the uh, openings made in the metal roof. And uh, they are still bringing water from down the street to, uh, to throw on this fire as, uh, as needed. A, 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 a brigade of tankers been making its way up and down Route 444. So the, the fire has destroyed the store. The apple farm itself is 144 acres. It is a landmark in the Finger Lakes, and uh, it has been a, a place where people stop on their way to perhaps go leaf peeping or, or maybe visit the wineries of the Finger Lakes. Uh, also a busy place leading up to Thanksgiving, and the owners are very concerned about uh, what that means for them over the next few weeks as uh, they will uh, not be, obviously, in business or at least not be in business in the way they would like. We'll keep watching it here this morning, waiting still to talk to the fire chief and maybe one of the investigators about what they found here at the Apple Farm. Uh, and we're also going to talk to Karen Baha'i, the woman who first spotted the fire on our next report from Victor on 13 Wham News. Let's go back out now to that breaking news in Victor, a landmark destroyed by a fire overnight. Doug Emblich is live at the Apple Farm with what we know so far about that fire. Doug? Well, investigators are on the scene now, and, and they're trying to figure out what started this fire. Was it uh, uh, the result of perhaps a burglary or some form of arson, or, or was it simply an electrical fire along those lines? We, we don't know yet, and they're trying to find out. What we do know is a business built by a family over 40 years, at least part of it, has been destroyed by the fire. You can see uh, what firefighters were up against earlier this morning as they arrived, middle of the night, uh, the uh, the wife of the owner, the wife of the man who started the apple farm in Victor, um, saw the flames from their house next door. Uh, she called 911 while Munir Baha'i ran out to see what he could do and, and found out very quickly there was nothing he could do. The store was on fire and on its way to being destroyed. 
Firefighters remain on the scene uh, trying to put out the hot spots, but essentially this is a, a total loss. We talked to the, uh, the owner's wife just a few minutes ago about what she saw, how she woke up this morning. I couldn't sleep, so I was folding laundry. I happened to look up because I had to hang the shirt separately, and there was a little blaze. And I'm like, I looked again, and then it got bigger and bigger. So I scream, and Monir, there's a fire, there's a fire. So I call 911, then I run down there to save the animals, which I hope they're saved. Yeah, and it turns out that those animals are indeed safe. Shortly after we did that interview, we saw three goats and a pot-bellied pig running around here. So the family uh, was taking some heart in that. What they don't know is what they're going to do next. This place is, as you mentioned, a landmark, very popular in the fall, especially in the weeks leading up to Thanksgiving, where she says they sell about 150 apple pies per day. Not sure how that's going to happen now. We're waiting for more from the firefighters and the investigators on the scene. We'll get that for you coming up perhaps in the morning rush or after 7 on Fox Rochester. Live in Victor, Doug Emblidge, 13 WAM News.